Hello. This time, we will create a pixelated skeletal mesh using the Niagara system. First, we create the material to be applied to the particle. We create a particle color node to set the particle color and connect it to the base color of the material. Then we create two constant nodes by clicking while pressing one on the keyboard, set values for each, and configure the material's metallic and roughness. Next, we create the Niagara system by adding a fountain emitter, To generate a large number of particles at once, we remove spawn rate and add spawn burst instantaneous and set its value. Then, to accommodate a large number of particles, we set up GPU and configure the bound box. We remove all modules affecting motion and the form in which it is created, like shape location, add velocity, as in the video. Then. We uncheck the checkbox in Particle State's Kill Particles when lifetime has elapsed so that once the particles are created, they can continue to live. Next, we set loop behavior in emitter state to once so that the emitter can only generate particles once. And we remove the curve of alpha in scale color to keep the alpha of the particle color from changing. Next, to attach particles to the skeletal mesh, we add Update Mesh Reproduction Sprite. Then, we click the Fix Issue button for the occurring error and additionally create Initialize Mesh Reproduction Sprite in Particle Spawn. Next, we set Source Mode in the two modules we just created to attach parent to get the location of the parent's mesh and set the preview mesh. Next, to set the particle to Mesh, not Sprite, we remove Sprite Renderer and add Mesh Renderer. In Mesh Renderer, we set up Cube or the mesh you want and configure the material we created first in Mesh Renderer. Next, we adjust Mesh Scale and Initialize Particle. Then, we change RGB to linear color in scale color and set the desired color to configure the colors of the particles. Next, we create a scratch module. We add position parameter to map get and a float parameter to divide that position. Then, to divide the position into float values, we change the position to vector form with the position to vector node. Next, we use the modulo node to perform modulo operation on the position values of randomly located particles by the value of the float parameter. Then, using the subtract node, we subtract the modulo node, which has undergone modulo operation from the position parameter aligning randomly located particles by the value of the modulo operation to a certain position. Now we add position parameter to map set and connect the subtract node to finally set the aligned particles location. Now, by setting the value of the float parameter configured in the module, you can see the particles being aligned. Finally, let's configure the Niagara system on the character. Find and click the character's blueprint to open the window. In the Components window, click the Add button to create the Niagara system as a child of mesh. And set the Niagara we have been creating to the Niagara system we created. Lastly, uncheck Visible in the character's mesh's detail to make the mesh invisible.
and set always tick pose and refresh bones, invisibility based. Anim tick option to refresh the particle's location every time the character moves. At every tick. Now, press the play button to check if the particles have been created on the character.